Spoiler alert! It's the 10th season finale, and Jim Parsons' character Sheldon Cooper proposed to Amy. You can call it a pleasant coincidence, but just a few days later, Parsons proposed to his real-life partner. Todd Spiewak, who has been with Jim for 14 years, said, I do. In 2013, having dated for 10 years, the couple made their first public appearance on the red carpet. Parsons opened up to reporters, saying, I've never considered my relationship with Todd to be an act of activism. Rather simply, it's an act of love. Coffee in the morning, going to work, washing the clothes, taking the dogs out. A regular life, boring love. The wedding ceremony was hosted in a fabulous rainbow room on the 65th floor of the Rockefeller Center in New York. Besides the couple's friends and family, his friends from the cast also honored the ceremony with their presence. Let's see who their plus ones were. Kunal Nair and Neha Kapper. This rightfully deserves to be called the love story of The Geek and the Gorgeous. Kunal Nair's TV character, Raj, struggled a great deal to win the attention of women. Would you believe that this shy geek astrophysicist has in real life managed to enchant former Miss India, Neha Kapper? Neha won Miss India in 2006 and competed for the title of Miss Universe that same year. Kunal recalls, My first thought was, this is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. My second thought was, she's way out of my league. But Kunal proved that unlike his screen character, he knows how to reach a woman's heart. The couple tied the knot seven years ago in their hometown of Delhi, in a great traditional Indian-style wedding. It was a six-day-long colorful fairy tale with spectacular ceremonies and celebrations. Kunal explained on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, they take six days, they can take seven, I think we ran out of money. One day is the henna festival, one day is the cocktail festival, one day is the actual wedding, then the reception. I just wish I could go back to my wedding as a guest. Well, Mr. Nair, we are now waiting to hear some baby news. Melissa Roch and Winston Beagle. He is a handsome six foot three tall screenwriter and she is a sweet actress of four foot 11. Melissa Roch, who plays Bernadette on the show, married Winston 11 years ago. Bernadette was pregnant on the show twice. Who knows, maybe her character inspired Melissa to think about a baby. Melissa was so overjoyed when announcing her pregnancy in 2017, but at the same time, terrified, because her previous pregnancy ended with a miscarriage. Luckily, on December 4th, Roch made a post about her newborn daughter, Sadie. We hope that Melissa will be as happy with her real-life family as Bernie is with hers. Mayim Bialik and Michael Stone is Mayim Bialik engaged like her on-screen character Amy? Currently, not. Rumor has it that she was getting into a serious relationship with a member of the band, the Maccabees, but it was only gossip. We hope Mayim Bialik will soon try on a wedding dress again. She was married for nine years to Michael Stone. The couple has two beautiful sons, but unfortunately, their kids couldn't prevent the family from falling apart. Although Mayim doesn't have any problems talking to men, she has much more in common with Amy than you might think. Bialik also has a PhD in neuroscience. She admitted that she left her career as a scientist to spend more time with her children. I'm glad that I completed my PhD, and I'm very proud of it, but the life of a research professor would not have suited my needs in terms of what kind of parenting I wanted to do. Simon Helberg and Jocelyn Town Simon Helberg broke up with his wife after proposing to her, but before marrying her. Wait, what? Okay, take a look at the events in order. Simon and Jocelyn have been married for 11 years and have two beautiful children, but their marriage didn't start out the regular way. The moment Simon proposed, he freaked out and dumped his fiance. I freaked out, I thought I had feelings for other people, I thought that I needed more of an exciting life, I had the perfect thing, but for whatever reason. After the split, Jocelyn decided to change the situation and she moved to Paris. She was trying to get over the ordeal and met another man when Simon followed her to France. On the return to the US, Simon Helberg proposed to Jocelyn right away. Joking on The Late Show with David Letterman, he admitted, I proposed immediately on her return because I thought if I can just trap her and force her to marry me, that's the most romantic thing anyone could ask for. Isn't it crazy? It does sound like something Howard Wolowitz would actually do, don't you think? In fact, the couple is now making a movie based on this insane but truly romantic story. Johnny Galecki and Kaylee Kuoku These two are very much alike with their on-screen characters, Penny and Leonard, when it comes to their love affairs. Johnny and Kaylee have both been in long-term relationships several times before getting together. Yes, you've heard it right, 
They dated in real life about two years, but ended the relationship in 2009 on good terms. Have you seen something similar on the screen? In fact, Kaylee married professional tennis player Ryan Sweeting in 2013, but the couple divorced two years later. Following the split, she met Carl Cook, to whom she got engaged on her 32nd birthday last year. Honey? How do you feel, honey? What's on your finger, honey? <laughs> We're engaged! I can't. You still haven't said yes yet. There's yes! No I said yes! I said yes! <laughs> Johnny Galecki has been dating Ariel Nicole since 2015, but not much is known about his girlfriend yet. Of course, we wish only the best for Kaylee. Maybe there's a chance that she and Johnny still may reunite someday, like the characters. Anyway, we hope they will both find happiness. Sarah Gilbert and Linda Perry Guess what? Kaylee Cuoco isn't the only on-set partner who Johnny Galecki dated. Back in 1992, he played alongside the curly-haired Sarah Gilbert on the show Roseanne. The two dated shortly during the show, until Sarah called it quits. It was during their relationship that she realized she was gay. John turned out to be very supportive. I eventually told him I thought it was about my sexuality, and he was super sweet about it. Sarah met her second half a few years later. She married the famous Grammy-nominated rock singer and songwriter Linda Perry four years ago. Perry proposed to Sarah in a park, playing their favorite song, The Love Song, by The Cure. It didn't take long for them to have a son, Rhodes Emilio, who was born just a year after their marriage. Brian Possein and Melanie Truitt Brian Possein plays a shy geologist, Bert, who is all into Amy. He knows only one thing, expressing his love by giving her unusual rocks. In real life, Brian is more successful in his relationship. He has been married to television producer Melanie Truitt for 14 years. The couple is raising a beautiful son together. Will Wheaton and Ann Wheaton Even though Will is Sheldon's arch enemy, we bet that Shelley found a place at his wedding table for this couple too. Will and Ann Wheaton exchanged their vows at an altar 19 years ago. Now they are a regular couple in their mid-40s. The two met at a New Year's Eve party where their friend was trying to hook them up. Will recalls, I saw Anne and she was cute, and I was a nerd and I was afraid to talk to her. As it turned out, Anne had no idea that Will was a famous actor. She recalls how surprised she was when Will asked her to visit the London Star Trek convention four months after they met. Anne has two children from her previous marriage. When one of them, Ryan, turned 19, he asked Will to legally adopt him, which he did. Now the happy family just enjoys their family life. They spend a lot of time doing charity work and taking care of animals. The couple has two rescued pit bulls, Seamus and Marlo. Keep going, Lieutenant Wesley Crusher. Christine Baranski and Matthew Cowles. An Emmy winner, Christine Baranski is an ice cold, restrained mother and lover, but only on the show. She and the star of the soap opera All My Children, Matthew Cowles, got married 35 years ago. They met on the set of Long Island in 1982. They have two beautiful daughters and a grandson. It's Christine's family that gives her the strength to live after a devastating tragedy in 2014. At the age of 69, Matthew Cowles passed away from an unexpected congestive heart failure. With the years passing by, she found the support and strength to move forward and to enjoy her life, keeping alive the bright memories of her beloved spouse. She now plays in the legal and political drama, The Good Wife. Bob Newhart and Guinea Newhart if there was a seat for Sheldon's frenemy, Will Wheaton, then one would be left for his idol for sure. Yes, we are talking about Professor Newton. Bob Newhart appeared on several episodes of the show as the professor of physics who inspired little Shelley to become a scientist. Bob Newhart and his significant other, Guinea Newhart, the daughter of Bill Quinn, have lived soul to soul for 55 years. She said in an interview on their 50th anniversary, I don't know whether it's our generation, divorce was just not in our vocabulary. Like anybody, we had fights, and we had some pretty good ones. Guinea is battling liver cancer at the age of 77. The illness brought the couple closer. She once said that it made them aware of their mortality. They've realized how vulnerable life is. The couple is fighting the disease together and keeping optimistic, enjoying the time with their four children and grandkids. John Ross Bowie and Jamie Denbo Everyone has that one eternal rival at work. It isn't an exception for Sheldon Cooper and Barry Kripke. 
Sarcastic, self-interested, and cunning on screen, John Ross Bowie is nothing like that in real life. Instead of the cold lab premises, he has been sharing a family nest with his wife, Jamie Denbo, for 14 years. Despite all those many years, John is still very fond of their marriage and mentions his sweetheart in each interview. The couple doesn't talk publicly about their two kids. They prefer to keep family affairs private. Cannot blame them for it at all. But we are certain that such gifted parents are sure to have lovely, and no less talented, children. The couple also appeared together on The Hot in Cleveland sitcom. Before starring in The Big Bang Theory, John had some tough times in his career. But lately, he has been gaining more popularity. Bowie found his recognition on the ABC sitcom Speechless. Hope this success will continue to grow. Which love story is your favorite? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Click on the ASA icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel.